Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, I would like to show you how you can edit the settings of the countdown element that we have here and how you can hide or show elements when the countdown is expired or redirect the users to a different page. But two things before we get to that. First, hit that subscribe button that you see under this video and make sure that you enable notifications to not miss out on our future content. And second, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find a link to a free trial in the description of this video. And if you start your ClickFunnels 2.0 trial using our link, you also will get access to our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. And this course will help you to shorten the learning curve with this platform. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description of this video, you can find the offers that will help you to save on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription. All right, let's dive into it. I already have a countdown element on my page, but if you want to add a countdown, just click add element, search for a countdown, and click on this element and ClickFunnels 2.0 will add it to your page. To edit the settings of the countdown element, just click on the settings icon when you hover over the element or just click on the element itself and it also will open the settings. In ClickFunnels 2.0 we have different types of the countdowns that you can use. By default it will offer you to use the countdown. But we also have the calendar event type, which is still under development and will be added in the future. We have the regular countdown, which means that the countdown will expire at the specific date and time. And we also have an evergreen timer. And the difference between the evergreen timer and the countdown timer is that the evergreen timer resets automatically and we can set here the date and the time when it should be reset. We will circle back to the timer settings and actions, but besides those settings, you also have different settings that will help you to customize and style your countdown. For example, you have the display settings, if you want to show years, months, weeks, days, or just hours, minutes, seconds, and so on, you can choose for yourself. Next, you can change the look of different components of your countdown, like time, time container, countdown container, label. When I hover over the name of the component, you see that it's highlighted on the left on our page. When you click on this name, it will open the settings for the label. And here you can style the label. For example, change the color, add some background, border, shadows, and much more. We are going back to the settings of the countdown. For that, you can just use the breadcrumbs and click countdown here. Scroll further and here you have even more styling options. For example, for the containers of the countdown, you can change the padding, the background, the border, shadows and corners. If you don't want to do all of that, you can just go with one of the templates. You can find them on this tab, templates. In fact, I'm using one of the templates for my countdown. Now let's go back to our settings and let's imagine the case when we have our countdown and after the countdown is expired, we hide the order form. So we don't want customers to be able to buy this offer after the countdown expires. How do we do it? First, we select the countdown in the settings of the timer. We select the date. Let's select the current date. Then go to the end time and open the drop down and select the time that you can use. And make sure that you're using the right time zone. After that, we go to the timer actions section. Make sure that in the expire action, we have show hide content. And then we select what we want to hide. And we want to hide, just click on this drop down, the row with our checkout element. When you hover over the name of the element or row, you will see that it's highlighted on the left as well. We can just hide the whole row. Let's save the changes and see how our page looks right now. All right, we have eight minutes before the countdown expires. And after that, we can check if the checkout element was in fact hidden. Now our timer is almost expired and we should see that the checkout element disappears. All right, everything worked as expected. Now let's imagine a different scenario. After our countdown is expired, we want the users to be redirected to a different page. How can you do it? Go to the settings of the countdown, 
Then you can of course select the date and the time when the countdown should expire. And in the timer actions, instead of the show hide content, we select redirect to a URL. In this field, paste the URL where you want your users to be redirected. After that, don't forget to save the changes. And now when our countdown expires, it will redirect to the CF PowerScript site. Let's see if it works the way we expect and we should be redirected to the CF PowerScript site. And here we go, everything works fine. If you want your countdown to reset automatically, you need to use the evergreen countdown. Select how often it should reset, for example, monthly, weekly, daily, and even on the page load. Then you can select a reset day, the reset time, also the time zone, and also add different timer action. That's how easy you can use the countdown element in ClickFunnels 2.0 and either hide or show elements when the countdown is expires or redirect your users to a different page. If this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And also check out the ClickFunnels 2.0 trial and different offers that will help you to save on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription in the description of this video. See you in the future videos. Bye bye.